Thanks for joining us. I'm Liam Martin with the WBZ News Update. Let's take a look at our top stories. Students at MIT Simmons Hall were evacuated early this morning after a bomb threat. This all unfolded around 2.30 a.m. First responders were called in to search the dorm with dogs. Students were left waiting outside or in a nearby dorm until around 4 a.m. No word from police on where the bomb threat came from. Foxborough residents are debating whether to change their school mascot. Some members of the school committee say the current Native American warrior head is harmful. Those in favor of keeping the logo say it embodies the town. The school committee says they're scheduling time to meet with indigenous leaders to hear their perspectives. A candidate for the East Hampton school superintendent job says his offer was pulled after he used the word ladies in an email. Vito Perone says he used the word while writing to the school committee chairwoman and a female colleague. Some parents and students have been protesting the decision. Last night, a virtual public school meeting was canceled after too many people tried to join in and it turned chaotic. Let's get a check of your next weather forecast now with meteorologist Zach Green. Hey, Zach. Good morning, Liam. Wednesday is starting off cloudy and it will end cloudy. There's really not much discrepancy between the morning and the afternoon. Temperatures may actually slide just a little bit, especially if you're closer to the water as the easterly winds are going to take a grip anywhere from 15 to 20 miles per hour. So a little blustery to go along with the second half of the day. But regardless, still relatively comfortable. We're not far from where we should stand by early April standards, but if you are going to be out and about on town, there's a bit of a drizzle, so just make sure you've got a rain jacket on standby or at least an umbrella close by too. If you're going to the matinee game at Fenway, official pitch at 1.30 p.m., things are going to be a little bit dicey, not anticipating any rain delays, and in fact, with weather like this, there may be a few more seats available, so check in on that if you want to go to the game. Tomorrow, we turn the corner. We're back near 70 degrees, but it is going to come at a price as we're dialing in some rain changes. Chances. And even a few isolated thunderstorms late afternoon, 5, 6, 7 p.m., this is going to be the best bet to get some of the heavier rainfall rates, the increased wind speeds within these isolated cases. Best shot is probably going to be lining up through Worcester County and areas west before beginning to at least fizzle out to a point east of 495. I still think it's going to hold on to a little instability, so some isolated rumbles are possible. But you notice the light green, the spilling across southern New England, indicating just general thunderstorms, no severe weather impact associated with this one. We keep the sunshine in play for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. An absolutely spectacular stretch from Good Friday through Easter Sunday. The warmest of the three is going to be Friday afternoon, but close to it comes Sunday too, Liam. All right, Zach, thank you. I'm Liam Martin. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day, everybody.